This is Penelope Stout's blind date, and every time the men see her face, they break the window and run away because she has a pig's nose. In order to prevent people from getting hurt, all the glass in her house has been replaced with tempered glass, so that the men's jumping incidents can't be put to rest, but every man who escaped was recaptured by the butler, and asked to sign a legal non-disclosure agreement. It was about an old curse passed down in Penelope's family that her great-great-great-grandfather had an affair with a maid, but was ridiculed by the rest of the family when he tried to marry the pregnant maid. Eventually he was pressured to marry another woman from a noble family, and the maid jumped off a cliff on the day of his wedding. Surprisingly, the maid's mother was a witch. To avenge her daughter's death, she went to the Wilhern estate at night and put a curse on the Wilhern family. From then on, every girl in the Wilhern family would have a pig's face and the curse would only be lifted by a true love's kiss from a man who is also a nobleman. As the years went by and the Wilhurns had five consecutive generations of boys, almost everyone seemed to have forgotten about the curse. Until today, when Franklin and Jessica's daughter, Penelope, was born, everyone was dumbfounded when they saw Penelope with the face of a pig. In order to keep the shame from spreading, Franklin and Jessica used their family's power to make the people who knew about it disappear. They tried to remove Penelope's pig's nose and ears through plastic surgery, but the doctors told them that her carotid artery was directly connected to her nose, so it was impossible to remove the pig's nose. On the other hand, since the outside world has not been able to get Penelope's nose, a reporter hid in a cupboard in her house to get Penelope's photo. Jessica found him and accidentally blinded him in one eye. In order to prevent the incident from happening again, the couple claimed that Penelope had died accidentally and organized a fake funeral, but the beaten reporter, Lemon was skeptical. Anyway, Penelope was hidden away and lived in isolation. Jessica spent all her time with Penelope. She wanted to make Penelope a bride worthy of the noble man who would break the curse. Eighteen years passed and Penelope was old enough to marry. Franklin and Jessica set up countless blind dates with noble men to break their daughter's curse. But during the seven years of matchmaking, all the men who saw Penelope's face fled. The glass in her house was changed one after another, even from ordinary glass to tempered glass but still could not stop the men from running away. But every man who escaped was brought back by the butler and asked to sign a legal non-disclosure agreement. The power of the Wilhern family forced the noblemen to agree. Today, however, something unexpected happened. A man named Edward ran out of the villa to fest and into the police station. He told the police that Penelope was a girl with a pig's face and sharp teeth. If he hadn't run so fast, the monster would have eaten him. But the police not only didn't believe him, they kept him in jail all night as if he was crazy. What's worse, the next day, Edward's detention as a delusional lunatic made the headlines in the local newspaper. Edward is the successor to the company's board of directors, and this news could rock his position in the company. So he went to the paper and strongly denounced the reporter, emphasizing that he was telling the truth, that Penelope did have a pig's face, but no one believed him. While being dragged away by the security guards, he meets Lemon, the reporter who was beaten up before. Since Lemon wants to avenge the loss of his right eye, and Edward needs to prove that he's not lying to save his reputation, the two of them decide to find a man to take Penelope's picture. The two of them decide to find a man to pose as a nobleman, to take a picture of Penelope and then publicize her. So Johnny, a downtrodden aristocrat, becomes their perfect candidate. Johnny has been addicted to casino for years, so he has lost all his family's wealth for generations. The task of getting $5,000 for just one photo was too attractive to the poor Johnny. So Johnny puts on a suit with a hidden camera and enters the room with the many blind dates waiting to be met by Penelope one by one. But what Johnny didn't expect was that Penelope had failed many blind dates before and now. She didn't have any hope for blind dates anymore. So she barged into the room and wanted to finish it all at once. Except for Johnny, who was hiding behind the sofa and adjusting his camera. All the other men were scared away when they saw Penelope. Is the only survivor? Johnny is completely different from the other noblemen. Unlike the other men, he was not as honorable as the others. He was a bit of a gangster because of his years of social life. He even stole a valuable book and kept it with him. Penelope, with her pig's nose, was attracted to this man. So the two of them met and talked every day, learning about each other's likes and dislikes. But Penelope was afraid of scaring Johnny. So there was a one-way glass between her and him. And Johnny couldn't see her. The two lonely hearts become more and more attracted to each other and get closer and closer to each other. Until one day, Penelope walked into the room involuntarily. Johnny was shocked when he saw Penelope, but it didn't run away. When he had the courage to touch Penelope's nose, he almost touched the switch of the camera inside his clothes. So he accidentally said a dirty word, but Penelope thought Johnny was scolding her and ran away sadly. Johnny ran out of the villa and threw the camera in front of Lemon. Now he realized Penelope wasn't. The ugly monster Edward said she was. He also asked Lemon and the others to leave Penelope alone. 
This scene was seen by Jessica who came out to look for Johnny. She instantly realized that Johnny was a spy. And to explain, Johnny goes straight through the iron gate and enters the villa again. Penelope doesn't care what her mom says because she's already in love with Johnny. So she begs him to marry her. She declares to him that this is not the real me. That the real me is somewhere in my body waiting to be released. And that Johnny is the only one who can break her curse. If the curse is not broken after her marriage, she will end her life. However, despite Penelope's sincere pleas for Johnny to marry her, Johnny hears Penelope's words and hesitates for a moment and says he can't do it. As soon as he said this, he was kicked out of the house by Jessica. Sitting at the top of the stairs, Penelope wept tears of despair. Penelope spent the next few days locked in her room. She reminisced about her childhood and failed blind date after failed blind date. Finally, she made a decision to run away from the house and see the world. She covered her nose with a scarf and walked through the crowd like a normal person. This was the life she wanted, so free and uninhibited. At night, Penelope swiped her mom's credit card and checked into a hotel. The next day, she woke up to find an ugly picture of her in the paper. It turns out that Lemon and Edward had found out about her running away and had put a $5,000 reward in the paper for her picture. And the newspaper was also seen by Franklin and Jessica. Franklin and Jessica found Penelope's hotel, according to her credit card bill. But Penelope saw it when she came back from shopping. Penelope didn't want to follow her parents home, so she ran away again. Her mom's credit card is no longer valid. Looking at the rewarded photos in the newspaper, Penelope thought of a way to make money. She went to a sticker machine and took a lot of pictures of herself, and then sold them to Lemon to make some money. But when Lemon saw Penelope's photos, he didn't feel scared. Penelope didn't have sharp teeth like Edward said, but she was a little bit cute. Edward put Penelope's picture on the front page of the newspaper to prove that he wasn't lying. But Penelope didn't care about that. Instead, she made a good friend, Annie, when she was out and about. The two of them rode their motorcycles freely around the city. She sent her parents some pictures of herself to keep them from worrying about her. Until the day Franklin and Jessica ran into Penelope on the street. Penelope was hiding from her parents when she fainted due to breathing difficulties caused by her fake scarf. Annie took off her scarf to help Penelope. A girl with a pig's nose was exposed for all to see. To everyone's surprise, people weren't as afraid of Penelope as the escaped nobleman. Instead of being treated as an anomaly, Penelope became the talk of the town because of her unique pig's nose. Even the mayor had his picture taken with her. It seemed that everyone in the city loved Penelope, except for Edward, who was always slandering her in order to save Edward's position. In the company and his image in front of the world, Edward's father forced Edward to ask Penelope to marry him. Jessica convinced Penelope to accept Edward's proposal, thinking that it was the only chance to remove her curse and allow her family to live a normal life. Soon the news of their engagement spread throughout the city. Just a few days before the engagement, Johnny approached Edward. He wanted to expose Edward's true colors and stop their wedding because he knew that Edward didn't really love Penelope. If their marriage doesn't lift Penelope's curse, Penelope won't want to live. Unfortunately, he has the reason to stop it, but not the identity to do so. Also trying to stop the wedding was another man, Lemon. So Lemon approached Johnny that night. For years he's been obsessed with getting Penelope's picture because of his frustration as a reporter not being able to get Penelope's picture and to avenge the loss of his right eye. But when he finally gets Penelope's photo, he realizes that Penelope is just a poor girl who has been cursed. So he encourages Johnny to pursue love. But Johnny is not an aristocrat. He's just a plumber's son. He's afraid that he can break a curse in her Penelope, knowing Johnny's concern. Lemon gave all Johnny's information to Jessica on the wedding day. He told Jessica that Johnny loved Penelope but couldn't accept her love. But Jessica didn't plan to tell Penelope about it because she thought breaking the curse was more important than love. At the wedding, when the pastor asked Penelope if she would marry Edward, Penelope said something that shocked everyone, which was no. After her mom kept asking, Penelope said what was in her heart. After all the things she's been through, she's grown accustomed to and loves the unique way she is now. But as soon as she said this, it was as if all the time was passing by her quickly. Penelope fainted and fell to the ground. When she woke up again, she realized that the curse had disappeared and she had become a beautiful woman. Afterwards, Jessica realized that she should have taught Penelope to accept her appearance and love her for who she was from the very beginning. That way, Penelope wouldn't have been stuck at home for 25 years. Finally, Penelope learns why Johnny rejected her. All shall be well, Jack shall laugh Jill. Confident people are the most beautiful. If you don't love yourself, how can you expect others to love you? Sometimes we don't have the confidence to think that we can attract other people's attention. So we lose the courage to try and just accept the arrangement passively. This way we will only miss the happiness that could have been ours. So you have to be brave too. Even if you will be alone for the rest of your life. 
Don't be with someone who doesn't love you. Learn to love yourself and wait for the one who loves you to show up. Just like Penelope, even if you spend the rest of your life as a pig, you still have the right to choose. Let's explore the wonderful movies together. You can subscribe to Maroon Recap and leave comments.